right, here we go. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Well, we have to pull. Let's read the directions. <laughs> All right, so here we are inside the uh, satellite phone store in San Diego. What's going on, guys? Welcome. Yeah, Who do we got here? Island. This is Rafael. All right, nice so, to meet you guys. Nice to Most definitely. So, Thanks for coming in. Yeah, we were in the area, and uh, you know, you guys do a lot of stuff that people down in Baja can use, and uh, you have some pretty cool products, so we just wanted to come in and see if you guys could show us around a little bit and see what you guys have to offer. Most definitely. Absolutely. This is our Ooh. showroom here in San Diego. Uh, we're down on Shelter Island, so pretty convenient. A lot of guys go stop by on their way down to the races in Baja. Yep. Um, we sell and rent all kinds of satellite communication equipment from a basic tracker, uh, text messengers, vo voice and text on phones, portable satellite internet terminals, so a little bit of all of that. Um, we've got some of it set up to kind of give you an overview of what we do and how we can keep just about anybody connected no matter what you're doing. Perfect. All right. Well, let's see what you guys, uh, you guys have. Perfect. Um, so a couple of options here we got set up on our first table. Um, it's going to go from kind of like entry level things to the more advanced as we go. So uh, these are going to be some of the basic satellite phones that are going to give you basic voice and text. Uh, on this end, we're going to have some trackers. Okay, so trackers is going to be the baseline thing that we work with, right? We do these for asset trackers, heavy equipment, trucks, anything. Um, can give you tracking updates up to every five minutes. Can upgrade to extreme tracking every two minutes. So it's yep. a good guy, way to keep uh, yeah. keep eyes on anything that you want to keep eyes on. That's what I actually use for the fishistics tracking when I do my trackers. I use that exact tracker. Yeah, so that, I know they work. <laughs> super, yeah, super user from the app on your phone, so you can monitor from your phone or your computer. You can get movement alerts, geofencing, stuff like that. So a really cool, versatile device. Um, after that, you step up to something that has text messaging capabilities. Okay. Um, so this will be a tracker and a text communication device. It also has a built-in SOS key. So for a lot of like the backpackers or people that wait is a really big concern that would have a little bit of communication as well as SOS, uh, that Garmin inReach is a really cool thing to fill that niche. So that might be something that people, when they're pre-running, it would be good to have. So, you know, they stop every once in a while, send a text message, um, hey, we're okay, we're at miles, so-and-so, and then the chase crew can kind of know where they are, right? Most definitely. Another really cool feature that I love on that one is the breadcrumb feature. So, I mean, even if you're new terrain, you're not getting lost, you're always going to find your way out. It's, a, it's just a really easy, yeah. user-friendly device. It looks pretty small, too, so it could easily fit in a uh, door bag or something pretty small, huh? Yeah, it's almost like a wearable, you know? When that thing's out, it's about the size of a golf, gol golf ball that was squished flat. Yeah. Um, but really when you get down to serious situations, voice communications are invaluable in an emergency situation. You want to be able to call. You don't want to text back and forth if the time is of the essence. So Yeah, it takes too long. Um, once we get into that, we start talking about our satellite phones and hotspots. So our best selling phone is the Inmarsat iSat Phone 2. We've always got really great promotions on it. Uh, it's the most bang for your buck if you're working in a reliable service region. Um, pretty similar build for Iridium devices and Inmarsat. The yep. network is what makes them different. Yeah, what's the difference between the networks? So we have Iridium and Irmasat or whatever, like you said. Mm -hmm. What's what's the main difference? Inmarsat works from geosynchronous satellites that sit along the equator. Geosynchronous means that from Earth's perspective, when we look at them, that satellite's always sitting in the same spot. So from the lower 48 or from Mexico, you need exposure to the southern horizon for that antenna to get that line of sight connection to the satellite. So yeah. that's a universal truth not everybody's familiar with with sat phones, is that it's not going to work inside. If you've got a roof over you, whether it's a... A roof, a vehicle roof, uh, or below deck on a boat, uh, that antenna can't see the satellite. So it needs to be outdoors to operate. We have vehicular antenna kits to make them work inside of trucks. Yep. Um, but back to the main difference in the network stationary satellite on the equator needs exposure to the southern horizon. Once you move to Iridium devices, Iridium Go, 9555, 9575, these things are true global network. Um, 66 low Earth orbit satellites going to give you connectivity anywhere with a view of the sky. So even if you're in the bottom of a canyon, you don't have that exposure to the south, you're still going to hit one of those birds eventually when they fly over. So, so it's a little easier possibly to get a signal in more places from the Iridium network, basically. You know, there's a trade-off. Um, it, it, it all is geographic dependent. Um, Inmarsat is a super stable network, right? I can have a 30 minute plus phone call on that if I'm in reliable service region. In Marsat, there's a, or I'm sorry, Iridium, there's a little bit more opportunity for a dropped call because you are using orbiting satellites. But that trade off is you know that you're going to be able to get a call out even without exposure to the southern horizon. Okay, so they both so, have their pluses and minuses. Pluses and minuses on both ends, yeah. But um, moving on down the line here, uh, Iridium also makes a device called the Iridium Go. Now, this is a really cool device, a very like niche product. It's halfway between what a normal satellite phone does and a portable satellite internet terminal. Um, 
they do call it a hotspot. A lot of people are confused, thinking it's going to get them internet access. It doesn't do internet. It's like 2.4 kilobytes per second. So it's a very slow connection. Um, so compressed data, like offshore weather grips uh, or compressed emails through proprietary apps only, won't get you into your Gmail. Um, but it will give you a little bit of data, um, so you can get a little bit more than just voice and text. What about like a WhatsApp? Will it send a WhatsApp uh, text or not quite enough? I get for that, that question all the time, and the Iridium Go app works a lot like WhatsApp, but 2.4 kilobytes per second is not enough bandwidth or connection speed to actually make uh, WhatsApp work. Okay. So if you've used WhatsApp, you got your leg up on it. You know that all your calls and texts go through that app. Um, very similar with the Iridium Go. It doesn't make your cell phone number work. It has its own unique phone number. Uh, but text, calls, limited data, um, it's a cool little niche device. So you can use your, your cell phone connected to it to make a phone call, basically. Exactly, exactly. Not going to make your cell phone number work, but your cell yeah. phone is what's connected through that. You're making calls over the satellite network through the Iridium Go. So you can call your contacts you have saved in your phone or stuff Correct. like that. Correct, Correct. Yeah. Correct. yeah. Right. So, and prices here vary. You know, uh, the Iridium Go is one of the more affordable options. Right now, I think it's on sale for $695. Okay. Um, the Inmarsat phone is usually about six hundred dollars. We got some free phone promotions on this one uh, once you hop on, hop on certain service plans. And then the Iridium phones are going to range between a thousand and about twelve ninety five. Um, but like I said, when you purchase monthly service, we got some discounts available that you can get on hardware for that. So. Okay. And does one of those do a push to talk to, or or is that um, what we're going to look at next? Yeah. So we're making our way there. So um, these two models here on the Iridium. Before we get there. The main difference is going to be water resistance and GPS functionality on the 9575. Um, that's a nice feature. It's got a built-in SOS key, but I can also do it in a non-emergency situation. If I get a flat tire, if I'm on fish or something, I could share my location via text message. The more economical mo model, no GPS, no rugged rating, uh, just going to give you a voice and text. Just as reliable. Okay. They also make a PTT version of the Iridium 9575. We'll go to the next table to talk about it. All right. So PTT is short for push to talk. Right? And this is super popular with our off-road racers um, just because it's instant communication. If you've got a team of 30 people, you can put the same, same word in everybody's ear at the same time. You know? So starting off with the Iridium Extreme, this is almost the same phone as we were looking at on the other table, but it has two modes. It has a phone mode for calls and texts and then a PTT mode. And the PTT mode is just gonna be the push to talk mode. So when you push the button, it's gonna work like a traditional VHF radio, except we're using satellite network instead of VHF. Um, if you use VHF, you know it has some limitations. If you don't have repeating stations or, or something nearby, um, yeah, the range the range is very limited on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. So this, um, we set up a talk group. You can be here in California. We can have somebody down at the tip of Baja, and we can have that instant communication, satellite to radio, um, anywhere in the world. You can set that talk group up, group up anywhere in the world. I think the other thing that um, people would really like about doing that is they don't have to use their team's race radio channel to be talking. So I know a lot of times, you know, the, the chase trucks talking to each other, they clog up their own race channel. So then the race car is having to hear their communication. Whereas if they were using that, they can just talk without the race car having to hear it. Yeah, it's a, it's a private, dedicated, encrypted channel. Nobody else is on it. No one else can hear it. It's you and your team only. Uh, so it can really give you a leg up on your competition with, with, with a lot of situations. So uh, there's two different radios that will do this PTT. I mean, there's more than two, but these are the two popular models, yeah. right? The Arabian 9575 and the ICOM, ICSAT 100. Um, this one does not have a phone mode. It'll do PTT only. But uh, in my opinion, the voice call quality is, is really great compared to the Extreme. Um, it's just a different system with the speaker. Um, ICOM really nailed it, super high quality product. You can feel it in hand, just like the quality of the build. Um, that rate is only 1200 bucks, I believe right now. And then this one is gonna be up around like 1500. So and the main difference is this one, you can make a phone call. This one is just the push to talk. Exactly. But this one sounds a little bit better. In my opinion, they're both yeah. great. They're both great solutions. Uh, but this is the most recently released device on the Iridium network. They both work on the Iridium network. Um, and in my opinion, they, they just nailed it. It's a really solid device. It's been really popular. And then the price point is really reasonable as well. Um, yeah. One other thing to consider with PTTs, um, just because no, not everybody's going to use these all year round. We do rent them, right? We, we rent all of this equipment that you've seen today. Um, but it does require a five device minimum with any push to talk service. So if you're going to call in, set up your team with rentals or any, anything like that or purchase, you need at least five devices. Okay. Um, hardware rents for around 50 bucks a week usually. Unlimited North America PTT service is going to be 65 bucks per line. I believe that's accurate still, right? Some things may fluctuate, but you can give us a call anytime. We got reps uh, that help out with tech support, with sales. We can answer any question that you got. 
Um, main line to the shop rings every phone in the company at 619-399-3800. So, um, and then what is, uh, I noticed in the background here, you have some PCI products. Yeah, most definitely. How does that uh, work in with it? Raphael is one of our techs here, and he can actually elaborate a little bit more on this. This is just to integrate with your VHF radio system. So if people uh, have these satellite. intercoms in their race cars or pre-runners, what does it do? Yep, <laughs> Raphael here. So pretty much we have worked with PCI to elaborate this AB switch that pretty much integrates with your existing intercom. It could be whatever type of intercom you have. What this AB switch does is pretty much allows you to connect your IC Sat 100 amp satellite radio and your regular BHF radio you may have already installed in your race car. So with this A or B switch, you pretty much select what channel or frequency you want to be on. You could transmit on VHF. If your VHF is out of sight, out of range, it's not working, switch over to your B side, then your satellite uh, satellite radio kicks in. So people can have this in the car with a uh, external antenna on it too, Exactly, correct? yes, correct. So this antenna right here is removable. Just pretty much screw it off. We have the external antenna, throw it on top of the roof, and that pretty much guarantee you full signal bars anywhere in Baja. So, yeah, there you go. So that's good for pre-running. If no matter where you are, you can be in contact exactly. through your intercom without having to stop and pull over and get out a phone. You can exactly. just talk right to the intercom. And with your same intercom integration you already have in your vehicle, just plug the, this guy. We have some XLR cables you will need to plug into the AB switch, hooks up to your exis existing intercom, and that's pretty much the way to go. One other thing to note with those antennas also, it doesn't require any permanent installation. These are all magnetic mount. Yep. Um, and even though there's some like aluminum race trucks out there, we, there's all kinds of different bolt mounts. Um, if it's temporary stuff, we've been having to zip tie that on. on some yeah, pages, some zip right? ties. We it's have off-road some, racers. They have zip ties it, and duct tape all over work. the place. Exactly. It's good to go. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> um, but then another one really cool note on the, uh, the AB switch, you're still getting incoming on both channels, right? You're still getting incoming on both channels. So if they're transmitting on your VHF radio, you're still gonna get it on your intercom. You'll hear both, it's just exactly. which you one you're gonna transmit. transmit on one, and depending on which one you feel you're, you're ready to use, either your VHF, your, your satellite radio. Like what Tyler was saying, this is pretty much, it has a 1.5 built-in watt speaker. It's fully water resistant, so you can submerge this guy in. We have pretty much customers that brought these phones full of mud, water, <laughs> And they're, yeah, they're still working conditions. Please don't do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A long time On the ago. rentals. Exactly. Yeah. If you <laughs> own it, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Right? But, yeah, super solid devices. And these are definitely the most popular devices for anybody racing off-road stuff. Um, yeah. And then the, there's also a model of it, same device, but it's a headquarters unit. So that would be for, like, if you've got someone here in the States that's watching tracking or anything, wants to stay in, in tune with everybody down there. Yeah, your base station. Yeah. Your base station. Yeah, you want to go and install that one of your chase trucks. You want to go, you want something more permanently installed. I would definitely recommend this guy. You want something more portable that you can just pretty much hop on and jump on. It's going to go with this guy. <clears throat> and with the cables you need to integrate, we have them. We work with PCI, great guys, and um, pretty much standard XLR cables. 14 pin connectors to the intercom, and that just pretty much your two XLR five pin connectors on the back of the VAB switch. Yeah, super simple. Super simple setup. Yeah, super so simple anybody setup. that has one of these in their car could just uh, literally add that in a couple exactly. hours setup, probably at the most, less than that even probably. Exactly, yeah, you just pretty much have to go and get the AB switch, your, your ICOMs, and just a couple cables, run your antenna, and that's pretty much it. Very yeah. cool, very cool. Yeah, I think definitely having uh, one of these at your base station is a big plus too. Because like you said, you can literally be sitting anywhere in the world and be There's in contact with the whole race team with the push talk. It's kind of like the MSAT, but this seems that, you know, this is a little bit newer technology. Exactly, and a it's little a, lot easier. Similar, a lot similar with the MSAT. A lot easier, a lot more portable, a lot more affordable. Um, yeah, I think, you know, an MSAT is $5,000 each. And you, how much were these if you buy them? 1200 and it's about 1500. So 1200 and 1500 and versus 5000. You could almost general. get your whole team for the same price as one MSAT. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you need to ditch something and take it out and go, it's still going to work. It's not tied to your vehicle. Yeah, you can grab it out of the vehicle and if your vehicle has a problem, you can take it with you if you're walking back somewhere or something, and you can take it with you. Yeah. Exactly. Most definitely exactly. You sure. don't rely on any line of sight. You can be 20 miles from each other or 200 miles from each other. It's still going to work the same. Yeah lies on the Iridium satellite constellation, so that's global um, coverage there. Very cool. All right, well, I think that covers yeah. the push to talk pretty good, huh? I think that's just the PTTs. Yeah, there's, I mean, and if, it, if you're not familiar with this stuff and it does seem overwhelming, there's so many different little custom applications we can create. I mean, it's so, so a lot of it is not, I mean, a lot of it is rocket science to a lot of our customers, but that's what we're here for is to answer those questions and make sure that you're confident in whatever solution that we, 
we figure on your unique application. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you know everybody is is uh, catching up with technology a little bit, um, but you know just having these things compared to just a VHF radio makes a big difference, especially you know in the race when if there's a problem with the race car and you can get a, a communication out to a chase crew in in two seconds instead of hoping Absolutely. to have radio range. You know, Absolutely. that's that's a big yeah, advantage. We, we have definitely a lot of customers that had come in here returning their equipment, saying, you know what else stuck out in the middle of the uh, raise transmission failure whatever it is and they were able to get their chase group within within an hour yeah yeah it can definitely be life life saving equipment you know so yeah it's oftentimes people don't i mean the pricing has come down significantly on this stuff in the last couple of years but yeah uh, you hope you never need it but when you when you do need it it's it's very nice to have you know yeah and they, having these you know it's not just for off-roading like my, i myself i have a sat phone right there and i use it for everywhere i go fishing out in the ocean you know exactly. anywhere traveling somewhere you don't have cell phone service take it in the car with you so pretty that's, yeah, pretty that's portable the, the biggest thing is uninterrupted communications regardless of cell network availability or wi-fi they're going to work anywhere in the world so that's yeah. good, good peace of mind no matter what you're doing cool um but what else do you guys have? Stuff for the um, chase trucks, kind of? or Yeah, last thing I think we'll touch on is some of the portable internet terminals. Um, this is kind of the next step up. Of course, uh, internet is going to be a little bit more expensive than traditional voice and, and text. Uh, and that's actually real data we're talking about now, right? Real data, yeah. And, and your bandwidth or the speed of your connection is going to have a lot to do with the size of your terminal. Okay, Terminal is just what we call any of these little hot spots. Yep. This is the smallest one that I can recommend for reliable service in the lower 48 and Mexico. It's called the BGAN 510. Um, and this is going to provide a 464 kilobyte per second internet connection just about anywhere in the world except for the polar extremes. Um, just like the Inmarsat phone that we were talking about back there with the free phone promo, this does need exposure to the southern horizon to hit that satellite on the equator. But once it locks onto that, you keep it in that same position. You got an internet connection for as long as you need it. Um, there's a built in battery. It all collapses down, really packable, portable. So if you need to do just some like emailing or anything from anywhere in the world, that'll get it done. Um, it's not going to do Netflix or anything. If you want Netflix, yep. you need a big, very expensive terminal. So usually this stuff is reserved for priority communications because data can get very expensive very quickly. Um, this, this guy's relatives here is the Explorer 710. And what that's going to do is just offer you a little bit more bandwidth. It's a little faster. Mm -hmm. It also has a built-in battery. And instead of just a one-piece unit like the 510, this antenna portion actually comes off, right? This is considered a below deck unit. Okay. And this is the antenna. And we have longer cables for these. So if you wanted to set up a semi-permanent camp somewhere or something going on, we do a lot of stuff in uh, just off-grid locations where they're setting up shop for a little while. You can set up that antenna outdoors and have this inside so you can still connect indoors. Because like we mentioned earlier, all this equipment needs that line of sight connection to the satellite. So. 650 kilobytes per second on that one, so a little bit of a higher speed. And then once you get mobile, if you want something on your chase vehicle or something, this is this is where it's at. This is gonna be the smallest uh, device to keep you connected on the move. So instead of that flat panel always facing that satellite, this thing is built to where it's always tracking that satellite. Yeah, so this could go on top of your UTV, chase truck, pretty much anything you want, and it'll work while you're moving. Correct, yeah, no, we've, we've tested this out. We got one permanently installed on our Raptor. We've used them on side-by-sides. Um, super reliable it does need to see that satellite in the south um, but the price point on this one is more competitive than anything else that'll keep you connected on the move on the market and what kind of speed does this one get it's about the, the same three two three is, is on like the 510 level right what is that 460 three two three vegan gets more going to be on the vegan 510 level we're going to get approximately 450 to 500 kilobytes uh, per second depending on what part of a uh, Behind our line of sight, we're always yep. going to have that connectivity, but the speeds are going to be fluctuating a little bit depending on our signal strength. But yeah, that's pretty much like Tyler said. That's to put it on top of your car, chase truck, UTV, and have that internet connection pretty much anywhere in Baja. So you could do text messages do and text emails messages. and basically text e type stuff. Text, yeah. email, um, a little bit of uh, browsing. We do have a lot of customers getting it to track their spot track applications or their score tracking applications down in the middle of Baja. Yeah, so it's you could updates. check the uh, for the tracker. Exactly. You could check the tracker with yes. this and get an update. The trackers. That's the biggest part that we see most people using it for is keeping up with tracking or any updates because it will open a web page and it will browse the web. Okay. Um, you're not going to stream video. We, we, there is equipment for that, like this this big guy over here is what we use on our Ford Raptor when we go down there to live stream. We can hook that up to a drone and live stream from that yep. on high speed. I mean, um, it's just gonna be a little bit of a different price point for those higher bandwidth capable. And what is the kind of average price point on some of these units? 
it, it varies. This is this is gonna start about 23, 2400 bucks. Okay. Uh, this one is gonna be about uh, close to double. That one's gonna be approximately 5500 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's discounts available on this stuff with certain service plans though. So keep in mind, if you got something specific you want to learn about, give us a call. We can figure out what's going to be the most economical. And you solution. can you rent these also. Everything's yeah. Everything yeah. you see that we talked about today is you can rent it by the week. Um, hardware rents for a specific price, and then your service plan is customizable depending on how much you want to use it. And that goes for the data terminals or the phones. Um, but yeah, there's there's a little something for everybody. Some of it's a little bit technical, but. Uh, we got we got tech support available. Uh, we got offices on the East Coast, West Coast, up in Alaska. We've also got a location down in Ensenada that we do support for the racers down there. So um, there's we, we kind of pride ourselves on our customer service, always answering the phone when somebody calls. You never get in a machine. Yeah. Um, we started as a U.S. owned small business. Uh, we've been in business for 15 plus, plus years. years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's a very unique industry. We get to work with people doing all kinds of crazy, unique stuff in every corner of the globe. So you never know what you're going to see or, or get, but there's something to get you connected just about yeah. anywhere you are, whatever you're doing. And then what is the big dish back here? This is the Kaimeta. Uh, Kaimeta, this is a flat panel system, kind of a revolutionary technology. Instead of these domes, traditional domes that you see on, on vessels and things, like kind of over here in the corner, you can see some of our marine internet terminals. Yep. Um, this instead of tracking that satellite with that big dish uh it, it has no moving parts it's a new meta materials is what they it's call it materials <laughs> that's what they call it yeah, meta yep. material technology yep. there's no moving parts in there whatsoever so less stuff to break exactly less, yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah. Less especially in baja exactly especially <laughs> in baja going 89 miles per hour down so this road. one you you would basically mount on top of your chase truck to be able to get the highest um, speed internet basically that would be available that is correct. So pretty okay. much this one will give you the highest satellite data speeds out there. And could you do some little bit of video content you had said with a, uh, with a drone before you guys have used it and stuff? That is correct. We have done it in the past where we connect our drones, our DDR drones, and we do a live feed. So this terminal right here will give you five megabytes down on the download speed and two megabytes on the upload speed. So that's sufficient okay. to do stream. That yeah, two, that two megabyte figure is usually our guideline for live streaming some like standard. Yeah, because you could turn it down to yeah. 540 or 720 even yeah, and stream it on two probably. Yeah, if you want a higher 720 or 1080, then we definitely have other products that will meet their needs. But uh, pretty much this, this, is, what this is the fastest yeah. on the move solution. Exactly. The fastest on the move solution. And when you compare it to the other options around, when we're talking five megabits or megabytes per yeah. second, five yeah. megabytes Com per second. compared to kilobytes. That's, yeah, that's a big deal. We were talking about 434 kilobytes per second over there, so it's it's a big difference, you know. But, yeah, and then if you don't actually need that, that's why that's why we're here to figure out what's going to be the best for you for not breaking the bank. If that's yeah, there's literally sense. everything from sending a text message to sending video and everywhere in between. Exactly. Yeah, it's just pretty much from a terminal that you could uh, from a device you could just go and tra a track in and send SMS all the way to streaming and, and high speed data connection. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of solutions. The phones, we have antenna kits. You can make them work indoors. The line of sight connection is the biggest thing most new people ask about. Um, but yeah, we can keep, keep buildings connected, vehicles, anything. Um, and then just want to What do we got in here? This looks kind of impressive in here. Most definitely. This is our NOC, our network operating center. Um, and this is where... Got a little bit of a glare. Let's go over here. Yeah, this is where our West Coast support team uh, monitors satellites, uh, weather. Uh, we do a lot of offshore stuff. So marine internet support. Um, and then just whatever different else constellation we networks. We have the MRSAT constellation network up there. We have the Iridium constellation. We have weather, which is pretty much we are a big, uh, we do a lot of disasters pretty much anywhere in the U.S., Puerto Rico. So that's definitely we do keep an eye on that. Yeah. So pretty much this is showing all the satellites on the top left there that are up right now. Exactly. And where they are. Exactly. Most <laughs> definitely. Very cool. So always keeping up on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, but really, like Rafael said, disaster relief is a big part of our business. So hurricane season, we're always watching weather. Um, if we can anticipate something, we'll get boots on the ground in a location that may be hit by one of these things so we can distribute and, and assist uh, National Guard or whatever it is to, to yeah. keep in communication during, during disaster time. So. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I think you gave us a pretty good overview of all your products here. So if anybody has any more questions on this, um, what is the website they should go to? 
Uh, it's Check gonna be it sat123.com forward slash fish. We're also doing a 10% discount for uh, for any of your viewers. So just mention fish as that discount code uh, to any of our sales or support agents, and we'll make sure you get set up with the best equipment for whatever you're doing, and get you a little bit of a discount on that as well. Another there you go. Sales or rentals. All right. So for rentals too. So everybody, if you haven't got your stuff for the Baja 500 yet, you still have time. You can call up. You can get some uh, of your push to talks. You can get some sat phones. If you don't want to buy them, you can rent them and use them for the 500 and give them back. Most definitely. <laughs> I mean, we, we usually advise trying to get your, if you're going to rent, to reserve it like a week prior to your need by date just to ensure product availability. Yep. Uh, and give yourself time to get not pay for overnight shipping. You know what I mean? So the earlier the better, but that's not to say we can't help you out next day. Typically, we can get stuff out uh, no later than like 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We can ship next day to most locations in the U.S. And then you guys mentioned you have an Ensenada office also. Is there anything available um, down there, like rental stuff? or is that um, pretty much just on-site support? Don't, yeah, don't wait to get to Ensenada to rent. We don't stock a whole lot of hardware down there. It's mainly there for support. It's right? mainly yeah. there for so. support. Yeah, me and myself, Tyler has gone down there multiple times and other colleagues, we go down there for support. We do have, pretty much we go to customers' cars, make sure they're properly set up, make sure they're working, test them. And yeah, it's mainly for support. Yeah, so if someone is renting this stuff and they get down to Baja, they need some kind of support, they can go to the office in exactly. Ensenada and, and get the support. Office, uh, give us a call, we go and check their connections, make their everything's working, or yeah. see what we can help with. Right. Yeah, that's another one of the biggest things that makes us different also than going to some online big box retailers, that we are physical brick and mortar location. We do have people that are actually gonna come out and care about what's going on uh, and, and help you get through. The support is really what makes that difference. So yeah, um, we, we take a lot of pride in making sure things are working properly. You guys are at the races, obviously. We're at the races, yeah. yes. We're at the races. We have customers calling in us, and what, I need this part, I need an external antenna, I need another radio, and we're there to help. Yeah, all right. Well, very good. I think we kind of uh, covered pretty much everything. You guys Excellent. think that's it? Yeah, most definitely. We appreciate you coming by and showing right. what we got. If anybody has any questions, I, I hope you aren't hesitant to give us a call. We're also yep. on chat. If you hop by the website, we got live people on chat. I think Thanks I saw that. Yep. There as well. All right, guys. So get uh, get on the website. Go check out these products. Get your stuff for the Baja 500. If you guys have any questions, just give them a call. Thanks, right. Thanks, Thanks again, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks. Okay.